Hey guys, this is Peter, and this morning I woke up early to go put this up on the roof. So I got the Waveform Mimo 4x4 antenna, and I gotta say, this thing looks beautiful. So uh, very well packaged, very well delivered. I love the kit. So they sent me the kit. The antenna, you can get it by itself for one uh, for $1.99, but uh, the full kit comes with the stand or the mounting bracket. It comes with all the cables you need. That 30 foot cable is absolutely incredible. It's all wrapped as a, and it's still flexible even at 30 feet. I was able to reach a new point on my roof that I just hadn't hit before. So uh, I put it up there. Uh, I love the cable, that, the fact that they individually number all of the leads. Now this is important because a lot of these antenna pairs that you're running up there are indeed pairs. What they're doing is they're listening in concert, kind of like a noise canceling microphone. They're in such close proximity, they need to be out of phase by 90 degrees. You want to make sure you pick the right pairs. So I went right across the top, one, two, three, and four. And when I came in here, I knew which ones were pairs. And I was able to go to my, my uh, T-Mobile modem and hook it up to the pairs that I had set up. I ran them through the grid differently when I went from the IPX to the SMA connectors. That's what this cable comes with, uh, or that's what this kit comes with. It comes with all the cables you need, starting right at the IPX cables that you put inside the modem. It comes out and goes to SMA. And the SMA goes to an N connector, which is all the professional stuff. It has all the connectors, and they're really great. I love the double swivels on the N connectors. When you're up on the roof and it's really hot, you're going to appreciate that it screws together nicely. The only thing that I thought was missing from this kit uh, was... Right, right here. You need silicon tape for these connectors. You don't want to leave them out in the elements. You want to wrap them so that they're weatherproof. We've gone through that a number of times. Whether it's for radio equipment or for television equipment, wrap those cables because those cables inside, they're braided and they wick up moisture. So it also comes with a pair of, and I didn't think I'd be needing these, TS9 to SMA connectors. Now SMA, those are the ones that you're familiar with, go into your T-Mobile thing, but the uh, TS9s, those plug in the side of, well, like a WaveMaker from NCGO or from a Nighthawk. So we're familiar with those. I'm getting one of these routers tomorrow. See, I ordered a T-Mobile business line in order to get a static line, and they had to give me one of these. So in order to do it, it's all right. And I, I told the guy, I'm going to change the IMEI, and he goes, that's okay. Go ahead, do what you need. Sounds like you know what you're doing. So we're going to go ahead and free that card. But first, I'm going to test out this NC Go. First, I thought I'd try it out with my T-Mobile solution so you could see what I'm going to get. Then I'm going to try it tomorrow. I'm going to review this one, and that's this. Uh, we talked about this one before. Invisigig, this is 5G SA. This thing's incredible. It's got SMA connectors already on here. The pairs, for example, we have talked about, this is a pair, these, these two, and these are a pair. So I'm glad I asked that question in advance, and I'm glad these cables are numbered because I'm going to be able to get the best scores possible. Check it out, what I'm able to get. Let's take a look. Here is what I'm pulling right now on my, uh, on my modem. And i got to say, reference signal received power, wow, negative 77. That's exceptional. Signal to noise, anything above 20 is amazing. We got 21. We got 30 on our 5G signal. Primary signal is 4G. That's why this is 5G NSA, because we've got a 4G main carrier and we're gonna piggyback the 5G. Uh, quality, I wish it was a little bit lower, but that's not bad. 10 is what we're looking for. Negative nine would be even better, but this is what we're pulling in right now. Hey, when I get this modem out, I'm gonna be able to see those values of the antennas real time, real time data, and I'll be able to get that antenna focused as purely as possible. I might, If I was off, I'm going to go down and run these numbers again. But I got to say, these are some stellar numbers. I know they show four bars, but the only time I ever got five bars is when I brought a, a portable battery and we drove over to where the tower is at the local high school. It looks like a tree, but they, uh, uh, when I was right close to it, about 60, 80 feet from it, I was getting five bars. So that's what it takes to get five bars. So four bars from 1.7 miles away, that's not bad at all. Let me show you the kind of speeds that I get. Here, I already ran a speed test, so I already know what I'm gonna get, but I want you to see it live. Speedtest.net, let's do it. Ready? 
All right, 40 ping, that's a little bit high, but that's gonna drop when I get the 5G SA. And actually, that's, I normally pull it lower pings. And I was, pulling, I was pulling 700s before. So it's all time of day based. It's what's going on in your neighborhood. Yeah, I was put, pulling, I could show you those numbers. I was pulling uh, 700s, almost 800 and 100 up. So this is just a load. But the cool thing about getting over to N25 is modems like this, they can't get there. So it's a brand new set of bands. I'm excited because I'm gonna be affected less um, by that. So, well, I might I wanna hook that one up and do a quick test. But I gotta say, this kit is very well thought out. The, uh, right from the antenna is quality. The cable is absolute must. I know some of you may be tempted to say, $199 and get the antenna. Having the cable with the numbering and the dual swiveled end connectors, when you're up on a hot roof, having it work with you is so nice. You know, it's weird, when I was hooking it up, I was I was nerding out a little bit, but uh, it, it uh, something weird, a weird sensation came over me, and it was just like, couldn't quite put my finger on it, but it was just kind of, a, I guess, a, a pride thing. You're like, now we're talking. This is a US-made product. This thing is just working beautifully. I know it's made eventually in China, but it's made by a U.S. company designed in the U.S.A. and held to the U.S.A. standards. And this is quality through and through. I love this antenna. Very well made and looks pretty good. Um, it's up on my roof right now and, well, pulling some amazing scores, as you can see. Let's try it again. Yeah, this is what I was pulling earlier. 707 and 80. Let's try it again. It is time of day thing. It's 1.56 p.m. 26, a much better ping than 40. It's funny, the first time I ran this, I was getting like 600s, and I was like, ah, I thought it would be a little bit better. And I noticed my VPN was on. <laughs> so that was funny. Is it on? No, it is indeed off. So that's good. It is time of use thing. So that's why getting onto other bands, you know, uh, so well, let's see. N77 is going to be amazing as soon as that one's available. This antenna will cover 600 megahertz. That's N71. That's a very important one. That is our XR band for T-Mobile. 600 megahertz up to 6,000 megahertz or 6 gigahertz. That is the sweet spot. That is home networking. Anything above 6 is, uh, is well, not worth chasing because you're going to have to be within a couple blocks. Let's see. Uh, uh, N77, the one I'm so excited about, 3.7 gigahertz. This 6 gigahertz antenna is going to cover that fine. Hey, here's even an ad for it right there. Talk about good placement. Yeah, this is a great antenna and the kit gets you everything to go from one of these modems, whether you have the, the Nokia based one or the Arcadian one, you can pop those open, but both of those are 5G NSA, which gets you to these speeds, which is great. But we want to go to the next level. We want to get to N25, we want to get to N77, uh, and there's some other good bands in there. I think we're N66. That looks like a good band. Uh, the two reasons to get different bands. One is for performance, but one is also to find uh, a lesser load. As a lot of people in my neighborhood are rolling out the 5G, uh, it's going to get more and more impacted. But guess what? They're rolling out equipment that doesn't get N25. Hey guys, it's Peter. It's almost one o'clock in the morning, and I thought I'd come out and just run this test one more time and show you it's a time of day thing and why it's so important to get on those uncrowded bands. Look at this, 21 millisecond ping. 300, 400, 500, keep going, buddy. 600. Not a bad score. I was pulling 700 a minute ago. And some good 90s. Yeah, so it is time of day, but if we could get rid of the crowd scenario, all the all the modems, the NC Go that I'm getting tomorrow, that's N41, N71. That's all of the NSA stuff. When we are able to go SA, when we're able to pull in three bands and aggregate them together, this is going to be a whole different ball game. Anyway, guys, hey, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. This is one cool antenna. I have enjoyed it immensely. I think the kit uh, is. I usually piece stuff out like that, but I love this cable and the stand is quite good. And those other cables, it just makes it nice. It just buy the kit, you're done. 
Anyway, guys, there you go. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.